Welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. I'm Chris from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris the Kid. There's a link in the description. Today we're just going to look at uh, getting some basic information about your displays, your monitors. Now I have three monitors hooked up right now. And uh, let's say I wanted to get some information about them and the resolution of each one. One of my monitors, the one to my far left, is actually a pretty old weird monitor and the resolution on it is kind of weird. I can't set it to 1080. So if I was to run XRander, and of course this is assuming that you're using X as your display server, which I am, uh, I'd just run that, give it a couple seconds, and it will spit out information about all your different um, displays, even those that aren't connected. So you can see I have outputs for displays that aren't connected, uh, and it'll say disconnected, and you also have ones that are connected. And uh, I can narrow this down. Now, if we look at this, there's different ways I can go. Uh, I can grep for the word connected, so I can say grep connected, and it'll give me the lines of those ones that are connected, telling me some information about them, including uh, the resolution. Of course, we do have an issue there where it shows lines that are uh, disconnected as well, since that word's in there. So I can then say grep-v and say disconnected. So now it's going to grep for every line that's connected and then remove the ones that are not connected. Let me go ahead and clear the screen and do that again so you can see what I get here, uh, which just works. You know, I get some information there. We're piping a couple times, not that great. Uh, and uh, let's say we just want the resolution. Let's say Let's look at it, better options. So again, I can say XRander, and I can say grep, and instead of saying connected, I can just say asterisk, because the only lines that have asterisks in the output of this command are the ones that are connected. It's going to give me the resolution and the refresh rates here. And you can see the little asterisk there that we search for. Great. And you can see again that I have three monitors, each with their own resolution. Uh, I, I really need to get a new monitor because this does throw some things off when I open up certain programs. It doesn't match the other screens. It's it's not a big deal, but yeah, I need a new monitor. Uh, but I've been working with this one for over 10 years now, so I guess I guess I, I can live with it. Anyway, uh, what's another way that we can grep without being grep? Because let's say we want the, this next column. The, the way I would normally do this in the past, I would say awk, and then I would say, well, what do we want to print? I want to print dollar sign one, right? And it's going to give me everything in this first column here after the first space. So um, if there were no spaces here, it would be column zero. But since there's a space or there's white space here, it's going to make this uh, the second column, which is dollar sign one. So that works, but we're piping twice. We don't need to do that. See, if we were to use just awk here, we could say awk. And then in here, we can say slash slash asterisk. And that's going to work like grep. It's going to look for the lines that have asterisks. And then in that same command, I can pass it the print dollar sign one. So we're only running two commands. I'm only piping once here. I will get the output I want of each of my monitors. There we go. XRander can be a little slow, but it does get you the information you want. Now, Again, I have three monitors, but what is the total resolution of all three of them? Well, of course, I, I could you know separate these out and add up this column and add up this column and put them back together. But another option would be another program called XDPY Info. When I run that, it gives, again, a bunch of information about my displays, you know, color values and whatnot. Uh, but if I wanted to get their dimension, the dimension of the entire display, I can pass it this command. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take the output of that, put it into grep, and I will say dimensions. And when I do that, I get the line with the dimensions. Now, of course, as we just learned, we could put this into awk, and I can say with the slashes here, look for this line. It outputs the same thing. Uh, but now we can say print dollar sign, and I think it'll be two in this case. And there we go. Now I've got the full resolution of my screen. It's 1080p is the tallest that it's at, and then all monitors uh, lined up are 5,520. Uh, so that, that's getting some resolution stuff about your screens. Now, there is another command uh, I haven't played around with too much because, again, these are both assuming that you're running X. You could be running something else like uh, Waylon, or maybe you're running a headless server and there is no X display. You know, you're just using the shell. Uh, I guess this command, again, I'm just throwing this out there so you have this information, uh, but BF for like uh, frame buffer, set, and then dash S will give you resolution information. It's always saying uh, 1920 by 1080, because again, when you're not running a display server, your system sees all your monitors as basically one monitor. There's mirror, they're, they're all mirroring, mirroring the same thing. You can't uh, display different things as far as I know to different monitors unless you have a display server running as one of the points of a display server. But I thought I'd throw that out there. You can always do that if you're curious of the resolution uh, of your screen and you're not running a display server. 
That's it. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. I thank you for watching. Uh, visit my website. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I have a Patreon. I have supporters there. It would be great if you became one of them. If not, just visit my site and watch my videos. Like them, comment, and share is very helpful. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.